Hi, everyone. My name is Ahad Samet, co-founder and CEO of TrueAccord. And TrueAccord is reinventing the user experience for consumers in debt collection, Replace, using behavioral analytics, machine learning, and, and empathy-driven UX and content development to really rethink what it means for consumers to be in debt, what it means to service them, what it means to work with them. Let's talk about the debt collection market. In the US alone, it's a huge market. $13 billion a year in revenue. More than 17 million consumers are impacted by debt collection every year in the US alone. But it's also an extremely negative process. Under the best circumstances, debt collection today means taking people who make low base, high commission, the collectors, putting them on the phone, letting them blast consumers with phone calls, getting them on a cold call, and trying to convince them to pay in real time. Otherwise, the collector doesn't make any money. That is a horrible experience that drives a really large percentage of complaints to the federal government, but also negative psychological effects. PTSD-like symptoms, self-harm, and other negative impacts on consumers. True Accord aims to change that by competing head-to-head -head with traditional collection agencies with our solution. We service non-performing loans for financial institutions, competing head-to-head -head with traditional collectors. The good news, we are winning, okay? on two very important dimensions. At the top, you can see two graphs where the y-axis is what we call liquidation rate, the percentage of dollars collected out of dollars placed with us for collection for us and our competition. And the x-axis is time. And you can see the series that are through a court separating and increasing over traditional competition. Why? Because consumers choose to engage with our solution. Our solution offers them communications that are digital first, mobile first, personalized to their uh, preference for content, for payment option, for time of day, for day of the week. Everything that works for them in order to find a payment arrangement that they can actually stick to and remain on and make payments over time. And the result is in front of you. On top of that, the other very important dimension is customer satisfaction. We have a ludicrously high net promoter score, really high Google review score. You can actually go on Google, look at our reviews, and read some of them, which are literally, I can't believe I'm recommending this company, obviously. And you can see some of the quotes here that we are very proud of and are part of our journey to really reimagine what that collection looks like. How do we do that? We do that in two ways. One, with six million consumers on our platform, we use data-driven algorithms, real machine learning, to decide how to communicate with consumers, who to contact, what day and what time, what, through what channel, email, text, letter, phone call, push notification, and other channels that we're adding, what content to use and what voice to use in our content. And we have a content strategy team that continuously develops new treatments and new ways to approach consumers what payment offer to put in front of them, and then tracking their behavior in real time on our assets, every communication they open, every link they click, their browsing pattern on our website, whether they spoke to our call center, what did they say, and what was their disposition, to crunch back and decide how to follow up. The other element is user experience. We bring the user experience that we would expect from every other facet of our financial lives into debt collection. From our perspective, debt collection is part of the user life cycle. And we need to treat those customers, those consumers, as customers and give them a good user experience, not, because, not only because they're going to pay back, but also because we can reacquire them and we can work with them to improve their financial lives. It makes sense both socially and financially. So on one side, you can see the customer dashboard where a consumer can come in and look at what they owe, what payment arrangements are available, what payment arrangements are active, and really engage with the platform on their own time through their device of choice. 
More than 80% of the traffic on our website is from mobile devices and tablets. More than 25% at times where a debt collection operation could not contact the customer according to regulation and law. The other side here is the creditor experience, their ability to upload their debts, look at their portfolios, understand what's going on with them, what outbound activity, what inbound activity, how much was collected. Turning the collection experience into what we would all expect from every other element of financial services, a great user experience, something that we can use to actually find through a cord in our relationships and when handling debt. We have been very fortunate to impact the industry, not only in terms of performance, not only in terms of user experience, but also in terms of regulation. Providing data and support to the federal government. I was on the Consumer Advisory Board of the, financial, uh, of the CFPB to help them with rules and regulations. And for those of you who may be tracking, there's a new debt collection rule at play that is basically support for this type of model. Obliterating phone calls, adding technology, adding consumer-driven uh, treatments into debt collection, literally changing it. And as you can see, trust from our clients across multiple product lines, uh, credit cards, consumer loans, student loans, e-commerce loans, POS financing, and so on, is driving immense growth and success. So again, through a cord, reinventing debt collection using machine learning, behavioral economics, and an empathetic approach to UX and content development. Thank you very much.